bless you today. So, I'm going to be saying some prayers. Well, let me start off with the basics first. Shima. Well, Shima basically means listen. Shima, hero is real. Adonai is our God. Adonai is blessed. Forgive us who are trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever and ever. Amen. And things are going to happen dramatically, and people are going to wish they would turn their lives to Jesus Christ. So this is why we are here in Lynn, Massachusetts to let you know that you could give your life to Jesus Christ. They say Lynn is the city of sin. Thank you. You know, I used to live in Lynn way back in 1999 and 98 in that, in that area. That was a long time ago. I remember when rent was $3.95 a month. That's, that was my first apartment in Lynn, was three ninety five a month. And that was in 1995 or 96. Now rent prices are going up. All these prices are going up. But soon, the church will be going up. Soon, it's gonna come a time when the church it's gonna go up and meet the Lord in the air. So you got all these prices going up. You got the food prices going up, and soon the gas prices is gonna go up, and all these things are gonna go up, but one day the church is gonna go up. Okay, so many people today are not expecting Jesus to come back again. His return will be unexpected as a thief in the night. Why do we believe it will be soon? Looking around, what do you see? Perilous times. We're in an inflation right now. So many things are going up. Food going up. Shelves are, coming, are becoming empty. Not even a dollar store is a dollar store anymore. So what does that tell us? It's a dollar store. What does that tell us? that we are really living in perilous times. These are troubling times. But if you, were with, if you are with Jesus, you're gonna see the beauty in it. Those that have not have yet given their life to Jesus Christ, they see and they feel the perilous times. They feel the stress of the world. They feel the pains of the world. They're going through it because they do not have a savior, which is Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us how it will be in the last days. This known also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, accusate, accusers, inconsistent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying, denying the power of thereof. Be ye not deceived, no other way. If you are listening to our news today, you will hear it. No other way. Things are happening. No other way than Jesus. So we are bringing you this good news today. 
despite the cold weather because of our love for you. Jesus loves us all, but do you love him? The problem is loving him back. Hallelujah. Love is reciprocal. If I love you, you love me. All these harms we are seeing today wouldn't be if we love. And that is what God did for us. But I will say, for God so loved you. God so loved the lean people. God so loved your children, loved the American, that he gave his only begotten son. Anyone that believes in him will never perish, but have everlasting life. That's the only way. If you're listening today, you see that. Here and there, people are going. They're not coming back. Brother, sister, I always tell people that there's no more time to play jokes. We are jokers. But our God doesn't play jokes. The word of God is yes and amen. amen. It's either you believe right. or you leave it. But God must never change because of anybody. He is never the respecter of any man. Hallelujah. And we all believe that powers belong to the Lord, no other. 